Hey, how's it going? Alex here from Ideaspot, and in today's video, we have a Pretty Links tutorial. Now, Pretty Links is a link management plugin, and its main function is to do link shortening or URL shortening. Now, URL shortening is really useful, especially when you're doing affiliate blogging or affiliate marketing of any kind. You can take a long and messy looking affiliate link like this and change it to something a lot cleaner and more trustworthy, uh, like this clean looking Pretty Link down here. Now this plugin also has a few other cool features which I'm gonna to touch on a bit later. So if this sounds interesting, keep watching. First thing we'll do from our WordPress dashboard under plugins and add new, go ahead and search for link management. You'll find Pretty Links is the first hit that pops up here. You can go ahead and click install now. And when that's done, we click activate. Now, as soon as that's active, you'll get a Pretty Links option there in your menu. Now, Pretty Links is probably my favorite. The other one I quite like is Redirection. This is a little bit more simple and lightweight, but I think Pretty Links has a few more functions which makes it a little bit more useful. So I kind of prefer this one these days. So let's get started. So I'm gonna head over to the Pretty Links menu there, and we are going to add a new link. Now for this example, I'm gonna be using an affiliate link. I have set up a sample page here and I've set up a section for WP Rocket. Now, let's say we wanna send this button over to our WP Rocket affiliate link. Now, WP Rocket is my favorite WordPress optimization plugin, so I have joined their affiliate program, so this is a real example. Their affiliate program is run through shareasale.com, so my affiliate link is down here in my settings, so I'm gonna copy that link out. And then we head back to our pretty links and we're gonna paste the target URL in there. Let's add a title for this, WP Rocket. And we want the pretty link to point to ideaspotclass.com slash WP Rocket. Now the other important thing to choose here is the redirection method. If we click the drop down here, we've got three choices, 307 temporary, 302 temporary, and 301 permanent. Mostly you'll want to be using 301 permanent, which means that this link will always redirect to this link here and you never really want to change this link. Using a 301 makes things faster for your users because their browsers will cache the result into their browser cache and things will load faster if you're using a 301 permanent redirect. You may want to use a 307 temporary redirect sometimes if your target URL is gonna change from time to time. An example of when you might wanna use a temporary one is if that was a link to an event and the link changes depending on the event date. So you'll want to change that uh, link from time to time and use a 307 temporary for that purpose. Now 302 does the same thing. 307 is just an updated version of the 302. So I'd recommend using 307 if you need a temporary redirection. But like I said, most cases 301 is what you want. Next thing we'll do is have a look at the advanced features. Now, by default, you've got nofollow ticked and tracking is ticked. Now, this is probably the right setting for most cases, especially if you're using affiliate links, you'll definitely wanna have that nofollow uh, option ticked. So nofollow actually means that Google won't follow through that link and associate your website directly with the link that you're going to. So that's really important for your SEO. And sponsored goes a little bit further than the nofollow option. Sponsored actually clearly indicates to Google that the link has been paid for, like someone's paid to put an ad on your website or someone's submitted paid content to show on your site. So this is a clear way of differentiating between paid content and organic content. So make sure you click that one if it's applicable. Google does have a little bit more info about these sponsored and no follow options on their support page. So check that out if you're interested in reading some more details, I'll put that in the description. But in most cases, the default settings are gonna be what you wanna use. Just make sure you get this right because it's important for the trust score and the SEO of your website. Now I am only using the free version, so we're not gonna to get to use these pro options, but there are some pretty cool features like the keyword replacement feature where whenever you're typing a blog post, it might replace, say for example, I'm using Rocket. So every time I type WP Rocket, it can replace the link with that um, pretty link. So some pretty cool features that it has. I'm not really gonna go into that because I'm just gonna be using the free version, but let's go ahead and click update and publish this link. So here we are. So now to use this link, all I've got to do is click that clipboard option. That'll copy the link to the clipboard and let's go ahead and put this on the button in our web page. Now I'm using Elementor for this page, but you can use any page builder you like. Go ahead and select your button. I'm gonna link that to that pretty link and click update. 
Now, after reloading the page, I can scroll down to WP Rocket, the button there, you will see down in the bottom left corner there, it does link to our WP Rocket link. So let's go ahead and click that. And that should take us through to our affiliate link. There we go. So now back in our dashboard, if we check our WP Rocket link, we can see someone's clicked at one time and it's from one unique user. So it's a really cool little way of tracking how many people have clicked your link. Now, besides placing the link on your website, it's a great way of sharing the link through social media or sharing it through email. It looks a lot cleaner, a lot more trustworthy, and people are much more likely to click on the pretty link compared to the big, messy, standard affiliate links. So very, very useful to use these pretty links. Now I was using this with sharesale.com for my WP Rocket affiliate program, but besides that, there's also uh, Awin and CJ Affiliates, also good affiliate programs that have heaps of cool brands. The other really obvious one is Amazon Associates. Amazon Associates already has a link shortener, so use Amazon's one. I don't think they like people using their own, so um, it might actually be against the terms of service to use a different one. So if you're using Amazon Affiliates, use their link shortener. If you're interested in learning more about affiliate blogging, I've actually made a complete tutorial before. So click that video, check it out. Hopefully it's been useful. Hit like if this one's been useful and subscribe for more videos. I'll catch you next time.